cross over to that. Kristen, not a good day in the office. Your drivers seem to keep the, the stewards busy. Um, let's start with, with Max. How did you view the incidents on first turn four and then again, more importantly, turn seven? Well, look, I mean, Max didn't leave the, the, the track at turn four and, um, you know, then at, at seven, Lando opened the door very late. They both, both ran off there, but yeah, you know, the problem is I think we're going to get into very dangerous territory of uh, at what point is a, a dive bomb going to be okay. So I think really that, you know, the, um, the FIA and uh, the drivers need to sit down and decide, you know, what, what is acceptable and what, you know, what isn't. So uh, I thought two ten seconds was a bit, a bit on the harsh side today. Unsurprising, Zach didn't think it was enough. Um, I want to ask you about turn seven. You mentioned the word dive bomb. I mean, from the outside, that's what it seemed like. He absolutely lunged down the inside, and they both ran off off the track there. It's cost Max in the championship, right? Having 20 seconds. Is it? Is there a conversation for you to have with Max about the, this style of racing? Well, look. I mean, you you've always got to play to the rules, and uh, you know we'll look and learn from this race. And uh, I think more important for us to understand today, we just didn't have the pace. So, uh, you know, we had good pace in quality yesterday, but our race pace was, you know, was nowhere compared to the Ferrari and McLaren. So, um, yeah, that's really where our, our focus will be over the next five days. And Checo and Liam was getting pretty spicy out there as well. I mean, it, w what did you think of all that? Was there any, at any point a thought about, obviously, you're all within the same stable, getting Liam to be more compliant with Perez? Look, they're independent teams. As you can see, they raced each other hard. There was contact and uh, Checo, Unfortunately, picked up quite a lot of damage. There's about 65, 70 points worth of damage with the hole in a in the side pod and the floor. But um, yeah, you know that's that, that that's racing. We saw a lot of tough racing out there today. And finally, in the constructors' battle now, Ferrari have got ahead of you guys. Are there more bits coming? Because you mentioned the pace being being a big concern here. Are there any bits coming between now and the end of the season to try and get that second place back? Well, of course, you know, we've got to keep pushing and uh, we've got to understand, you know, what the swing in performance was, uh, you know, in the, in the race today. And, uh, you know, at the moment, it seems uh, just crucial. The tyres are so sensitive. You've got to have them, uh, you know, if you're not in the right operating window, you're nowhere. Well, thank you. Cheers.